situation. This Magnum uh, had a little bit of a problem. It's got a 400 cubic inch uh, motor in it that uh, uh, it's got some power to it. It was rebuilt with uh, all forged internals. It uh, would occasionally in the past uh, with this Holly uh, vacuum secondary carburetor, I think it's a 790 CFM, would very occasionally backfire through the carburetor. Well, <laughs> had a problem where uh, a bolt was uh, was uh, a header uh, a header bolt was uh, stripped inside the head, so I changed the heads to uh, Edelbrock heads. Well, ever since then, I've been having all kinds of problems with the car running like a like a dog. Um, uh, most of those problems were resolved. We rebuilt the carburetor, uh, replaced the coil, replaced all the spark plug and coil wires, replaced the Mopar ignition. Now it runs a hundred times better than it did before, although I really feel like it should have more power than it does. Uh, but what's happening now is when I take off from a light, the uh, carburetor will often backfire, sometimes so hard enough that uh, it will slam the choke uh, Lamp shut to where you have to go and pound it open again. Uh, sometimes you can catch it, it doesn't uh, slam it shut, but it gets to be a little bit hard to uh, start afterwards. Uh, I'm coming up on a light here uh, uh, soon at Rosenberg, and I'll see if it does it uh, at that point. Um, one thing I haven't changed yet, you know, like I said, I've changed the heads, I've changed the lifters, the push rods. Um, Change, uh, change the carburetor, rebuilt the carburetor. Um, the ignition module seemed to uh, to uh, correct a lot of the problems with regards to uh, the car would uh, start off good and then it would start stuttering and, and then it would backfire when you were, uh, you know, if you got on it about three quarters throttle or more, once it got up to like about 45, 50 miles an hour, all of a sudden you get a big backfire. The choke would uh, slam shut, and the car would uh, you'd have to go to the side of the road and uh, undo the uh, undo the choke. The one thing I didn't change is uh, I, I actually changed the fuel pump, and I had a uh, a highly high volume fuel pump before, and I've got uh, uh, a high volume fuel pump. It's a mechanical fuel pump. It's you know claimed to be their high volume. I kind of felt like I needed it because it's. Uh, you know, this motor is uh, a pretty hot motor. It's far from stock, uh, although it can run. It does run on uh, uh, high test, uh, high test gas. Uh, and I thought between the carburetor and the horsepower and stuff that it could be that. But I don't know if, if it's a situation where it's uh, over uh, over regulating uh, or, or not over regulating, uh, not regulating enough of the fuel uh, pressure and maybe. When I'm taking off, I'm getting too much fuel or, or what. But uh, like I said, I'm coming up to a light now. We'll see if it, uh, if it does well. Actually, I'm not gonna be stopping at this light. Just turn green on me. I'll tell you what I do, I will stop in front of this truck and start off. Okay, this is moderate acceleration. Didn't do it that time. Actually, it's not going to do it when you're uh, videoing it. Coming up on another light where I've got to make a right-hand turn. We'll see if it does it. Uh, if it does it there. That's the thing. Is this thing is so intermittent when it does it. It does it maybe 30% of the time, but it does it enough now to where I really can't trust the uh, taking a car anywhere. It might happen now because I'm going to have to stop and sit for a longer period of time than uh, than uh, I normally uh, normally do. You know, 780, 790 is the uh, RPM. We've got 23 gallons of gas. Water's 184 degrees. Volts 13.5. Got 12 pounds of, air, of uh, oil pressure at idle. Okay, here we go. Like it's going to do it now, either. I'd really like to find out what the problem is on this car and get the damn thing fixed. I really like this car. I've had it for a long, long time, and it's one of my favorite cars.
I got to 64 miles an hour and it started backfiring a little bit when I was under heavy acceleration. That's a problem. If anybody knows what the uh, deal might be, do me a favor and uh, either post a reply on the forum that I post this on or email me at DaveTheOldHippie at gmail.com. Thank you.